doing? I'm doing great. Good, good. Thanks for helping us out. Oh, no problem. <laughs> well, thank everyone for uh, joining us today. Uh, I am delighted to have uh, to my left uh, the nurse here at the Arkansas Department of Health, Sharian Quanacy, uh, who is the first Arkansan to receive a COVID shot. So she was number one. And then to her right is Cheryl Moore, who is a student at Shorter College, and uh, we're delighted that she is here today, who will be our one millionth Arkansan to receive the COVID-19 vaccine. <laughs> and uh, Cheryl said she's a little bit nervous about this, uh, but uh, she is really represents one of the demographics, uh, uh, students, uh, that in that age group that we really, really need to get vaccinated. Uh, we're also uh, joined uh, this morning uh, by Miss Arkansas, and we're glad to have Miss Arkansas here, uh, Darian Dolly, and uh, she's a student at the University of Arkansas uh, Medical Sciences. And so, Darren, and you've had your shot. I have. And what do you say about people who ought to about this vaccine? Um. I think the media has made it a little scarier than it actually is. Um, for me, it just kind of felt like I maybe ran into a wall a little bit too hard. Um, so my arm was sore for about a day. But outside of that, um, seeing what you see on, on the internet and thinking that it's scary or that even getting COVID tested is scary, um, being there and doing it in person is something that, number one, is just showing you that you have support for your community, that you care about the community around you, and that you're doing your part to get us past this pandemic that we've been in for the past year. Um, but it's not bad at all. It's something that if you're not afraid of needles, and even if you are afraid of needles, it's done in maybe about two seconds, and then you can go on with the rest of your day. Thank you. And so with that, uh, please, uh, uh, let's go ahead uh, uh, with our one millionth Arkansan. Is it done? <laughs> She's good, isn't she? So uh, I have for you a uh, pen from the governor's office. So it's my pen that we wear. And uh, uh, so thank you. Thank you. Number one million. Number one million. <laughs> <laughs> feels okay. Yeah, feels okay. <laughs> and then uh, for number one, I have uh, a pen as well. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, and uh, I know you've got to wait around for a few minutes. Yeah, you're going to wait right okay. the hall, and I'll bring, I'll bring your back And I'm going to make a couple more comments here, and uh, this will this will be brief because uh, the whole purpose today is simply to say how important it is to get the vaccine. Uh, we don't know what the cases will be today, but to think about someone contracting COVID-19 whenever the vaccine is available. The vaccine is available, so we want everybody to uh, help the state out and help yourself out in our community by getting the vaccine. And we're going to have uh, 
uh, some additional uh, vaccines here, but I wanted to say one thing, and that is we got our first report card uh, from the CDC on key performance indicators. Colonel Ader shared this with me today, and the uh, key performance in indicators, how Arkansas is doing on ordering, on inventory, on administration, and on equity. And we compare ourselves with the region and with the United States. In terms of ordering, we are at the top. Uh, we're way above the uh, national average in ordering and our region as well. In terms of administration, we're doing well. Uh, but in terms of equity, we're actually leading. We're way above the uh, national uh, per percentile for administration of the vaccine in an equitable fashion. Arkansas scores very well. Where we're weak is that we're starting to build up the inventory. And uh, that is because we have ordered well, we have the supply here, but the demand is slackening off. And so we're working with our pharmacy partners, our medical providers, uh, to really reach out, but we need everyone to participate in increasing that demand and getting the shot. And with that, uh, I'm gonna uh, turn it, uh, let's see here, are there any questions that should be asked today? How do you feel? Uh, I feel fine because I didn't get a shot. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean about the million. Oh, uh, really fantastic because whenever you look at the population of Arkansas of three million, a little bit over, that means uh, we're at 33% of the entire population. And if you look at the vaccine eligible population, we're over 40%. So this is encouraging to me and I want this over with. How I feel is I want vaccines in arms so we can turn the chapter in Arkansas history to move on from this pandemic. That's how I feel and I'm anxious to get from the 33% to all the way up uh, to the highest level we can. The uh, legislature passed a bill yesterday about prohibiting vaccine requirements by uh, government entities. Do you plan to sign that? Or? Uh, I like to read the bills carefully. Uh, I've read it once, we want to read it over again. I believe it, it really uh, puts into law the same requirements that I have said, that we're not going to have uh, a vaccine requirement to work in state government. Uh, we're not going to have that mandate there. So they simply took that and put it into legislative form, which uh, I don't know that that's necessary, and it, but I want to look at it. and so. I believe this is the same principle that I've articulated previously is that we're not going to have a mandate for uh, state employees uh, as, as a state. Uh, obviously, it, it exempts the private sector is my understanding and so that's important so that, you know, if you're a business and you're in a sensitive arena that you want to make sure everybody's vaccinated, make that a requirement, that should be the prerogative of business and I believe it makes that uh, allowance as well. So I want to look at it, but I believe it uh, fulfills what I've said. Uh, uh, yes, ma'am. Do you have any, um, any plans or any ideas as to how you'll get the other 67% vaccinated? Relying upon people like you, you. Uh, to speak to uh, your community, uh, to speak to your neighbors and your family and say, it's important, let's get it done. And it's about leadership. It's about leadership of employers, encouraging their workers, providing them the medical information. Uh, we're doing our part in terms of uh, the Department of Health has a great advertising program. We're looking at the most influential uh, people that uh, will help influence people to get it and give them confidence in it. You know, the, the biggest reasons that I hear about not getting the vaccine is I'll just put it off uh, or you know, uh, I don't think I have to do it now. They wait and see, and that time is really over with the confidence that is built up with the medical information we have, the confidence is there. And so we just have to get that information out. Alex, last question. Um, I was gonna ask, you know, what in your efforts to raise demand has worked, what any success stories there as far as solutions? Oh, there are. I went into a, uh, uh, a restaurant the other day and I always ask about to the employees and they said 100% of their employees were vaccinated and uh, that surprised me because it's historically been a lower percent so that's a success story I hope to bring that on one of my Tuesday briefings 
uh, whenever the business is available to talk about that. But it's also a success story uh, whenever you look at uh, the pharmacies and what they're doing and reaching out to the schools. A success story is in our, uh, within our inmate population. Inmate population uh, in our Department of Corrections is up to 50%. That is unbelievable. It's one of the nation's highest in terms of percent getting vaccinated in the prison environment. And uh, that's going to be uh, putting us in a good position for the future. So a uh, number of good stories. Uh, with that, we've got, uh, ma'am, can you uh, introduce yourself? Cecilia Gonzalez. Cecilia Gonzalez is going to be one million and one. <laughs> <laughs> and then we, we have, of course, the other shots to give. It's, I'm not going to stay here and watch it all. But, and we have a letter for you from me thanking you for getting your vaccination and setting the right example. And uh, thank you for being here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.